What up? Tyler here. I wanted to give you some uh, some tips on acing tests where there's memorization involved. Um, these techniques are techniques I've either employed myself or told people to employ in my classes. Um, when it's a test, like a history test or a science test, a class where you have to memorize a lot of stuff, or an English test when you got vocab words, this is the best way I've found to to do well on that test, okay? And it can be frustrating, it can feel like a long process, but if it's important and it's worth putting in the time and study for, do it, okay? All right, um, if you have a friend, get some flashcards of the words or the phrases or whatever it is you're supposed to memorize, and on the back side, you get the, uh, the, the whatever it is, the phrase, whatever it is you're trying to remember. Um, and so say the word is, um, you know, hat and you have your friend over there and they've got all the note cards, okay? And they'll go through, let's say it's 20 of them. They'll start on the first one, they'll just say hat, and you'll go hat, H-A-T, and then you'll have to say the phrase on the back, okay? If you get it right, great. You move on to the next one. If you get it wrong, you gotta do it again. You do not move on until you have said the back of that card without any help, okay? So you say hat. Uh, some cloth thing you wear on your head. All right. Oh, I got it. That's correct. Go to the second one. Your friend's gonna put that on the bottom. He goes to the next one. He says pizza. You a pizza? P i z z a. A circular food that you put in your mouth. And you get it right. Great. Move on to the next one. But if you get it wrong, start all the way over. You go back to hat. This is gonna help you get the repetition on that word that you that you went before, okay? So you're, you're stocking it and you're building it and breaking down the muscle and building it back together um, of that word or that phrase, that thing you're trying to memorize, okay? And so you keep going through your words. Anytime you uh, finish a word or mess up a word, uh, like you start back over, you go back to the front. And so you're gonna, eventually you're gonna repeat through them so many times, you're gonna remember that first one. Now, the problem is at the very end, you're gonna only have gone through that word one time. Yeah, you wanna go through it a couple times. Well, you switch. Your buddy is sitting there and they go through it and then you hand it back and they go opposite. And you do the same thing. You go through the word. You'll do, you know, uh, cornucopia and then mailbox and then fence. I'm saying things I see. Uh, and you go through backwards from what your last word was. If you miss one at any point, you start back over. They go back to cornucopia mailbox, fence. Anytime you miss it, you go back to the front. So that's my best advice. Work through your words. Anytime you miss one, you start over. Okay. Anytime you finish one, you start over and go through it. That amount of repetition and having to switch words and switch your thought process for different words and then go back is going to help reinforce it to where you can memorize it. If you're by yourself, do the same thing, but show yourself the flashcards or write down the left side of the page and then just write out the definitions on the right. Um, it's not quite as fun, but uh, it's really good. Peace. Hello, thank you for coming to Tarver Academy. Please subscribe, maybe.